A new government investigation says management at a Midwestern meat plant knew it was shipping out contaminated food products. The 1998 Listeria outbreaks was the largest meat recall in history and was linked to the deaths of 15 people. Good afternoon, I'm Warner Saunders, in for Mark Sapelsa. I'm Marion Brooks. Investigators for the U.S. Department of Agriculture say employees at the Bill Maher plant in Michigan were aware that hot dog and deli meats were bad. At the same time, the government found no evidence that Sara Lee intentionally distributed the products. How can that be? NBC5's Matt Garcia has more on the report. Nearly three years after a recall of 35 tons of tainted meat, 15 deaths, and more than 100 sickened people later, New evidence emerges indicating the company Sarah Lee may have known well before the outbreak. A report by the USDA's OIG investigators concludes the management either knew or should have known that the hot dogs or other food products were contaminated with listeria. The outbreak occurred in 1998. Many of the families affected have already settled. The company already slapped on the wrist with the misdemeanor and charged a small fine. Patricia Hardaway is outraged. Uh, Sarah Lee should not be fined or charged with a misdemeanor crime. I think, as far as I'm concerned, it's a felony. The heart of the evidence comes from within. Workers inside the Bill Maher plant that manufactured the meat. One employee who kept a six-month diary of his work telling investigators he knew with virtual certainty products were contaminated with listeria. A food inspection employee saying he became aware of increased levels of listeria a year before the recall. One of the factors our clients settled for the amount they did was based on uh, assertions from Sara Lee attorneys that there is no evidence that they have that indicated that they knew about a listeria infection in their hot dogs. Ken Mole was the lead attorney in the class action lawsuit against Sara Lee that grew to 4,000 people. He says one client has already given him permission to file a motion to reopen the case and go after punitive damages. Consumer groups like Safe Tables Our Priority, a grassroots organization representing victims of foodborne illnesses, question the prosecution of the case. It showed that the attorney general was very negligent in his job. That office should have uncovered the same information that the OIG uncovered. Now, the U.S. attorney for Western Michigan did not return our phone calls. In a recent published report, he is quoted as saying he has not seen the report but stands by his decision. Sarah Lee issued this statement. The company has not had an opportunity to review the OIG report regardless. In June, a government investigation uncovered no evidence that the Bill Maher plant knowingly produced meat food products that contain listeria. It will be up to a judge to decide whether to reopen this case. Live in the newsroom, Matt Garcia, NBC5 News.